Hi, welcome to another jQuery lesson. Now in this lesson, we'll learn how to use jQuery to manipulate multiple HTML elements in a web page. Now you can remember in the previous lesson, we learned how to manipulate a single HTML element. Now I have the same document with one paragraph, so I need to add one more paragraph here. Now uh, without adding a paragraph, I'll add a h1 element using h1 tag. Then I enter some text for the heading. That's uh, the heading one. Now let's save the file and open the page in the browser. I'll refresh the browser page and you can see the HTML heading tag. Now let's go to the code again because we need to change the code a little bit. And you can see the jQuery code here, which selects only the paragraph element. Now I need to use jQuery here to select the H1 element. That's why I use the jQuery code here. And uh, then to slide it, now let's use slide up function like this. Now you need to understand here that the slide up function will animate the selected HTML element and slide it upwards. Now let's open the browser and reload the page and I'll click on the link and you can see the animation works. Now when I click on the link, both h1 tag and the paragraph tag animates. Now you can understand jQuery can be used to manipulate more than one HTML element in a web page. Let me change this function. Let's add slide toggle function. Now for the paragraph element, I change the hide function to slide toggle. And also for the h1 element, I change the slide up to slide toggle. So both HTML elements will be using slide toggle function. Let's save the file and open it in the browser and we'll see how it works. I'll reload the page. Now you can see when I click on this paragraph link or the hide paragraph link, I can slide toggle both H1 element and the paragraph element. So in this video, so far we learned how to use jQuery to manipulate more than one HTML elements in a web page. Now uh, let's create another paragraph element. So what I do, I'll copy the first paragraph element and paste that code just beneath that to create my second paragraph element like this. So I'll uh, change the text a little bit. Now let's save the file and uh, open this page in the browser and we'll see how the output comes. Now I have two paragraph elements. I'll save the file and uh, let's open the page in the browser and reload the page. You can see that uh, I have two paragraphs now. Now when I click on the link, both paragraphs and the hidden element will be animated. Now we need to change this behavior. So let's see how to change it by using ID attributes of these HTML elements. Now let me go to the code again and uh, we'll modify the code now. I'll select the paragraph element, the first paragraph element and we'll add the ID attribute. So ID equals, then uh, I'll give the name for this paragraph element, the first underscore P, that is the ID of the first paragraph. Now let me change the jQuery code a little bit. So instead of using P, we need to use the ID attribute now. So the value of the ID attribute is first underscore P. That is the ID of the first paragraph. So I need to use that 
in the jQuery code. So by doing that, what I do, I select only the first paragraph. So I'll save the file and let's open the page in the browser. I'll reload the page and then I'll click on the link. Now you can see when I click on the link, only the first paragraph and the heading is animated. Now this is how we select a, a single specific element using the ID attribute in the jQuery code. Now if I want to select the second paragraph also using jQuery then I need to have uh, its own ID attribute. So let me have second underscore P and then to select that paragraph I need to change this value first underscore p to second underscore p so let's reload the page and see now you can see the first paragraph doesn't animated but the second paragraph and the heading is animated so in this lesson we learned how to use jquery to select more than one element in a web page now we learned how to use the element name and also how to use the id attribute of an element now if i want to select the second paragraph here you can see i use the id attributes value in the jquery code so when i use the id attributes value i need to use the hash symbol so to select the second paragraph i need to use hash second underscore p then I can select which function I need to execute on that element to animate it. Now here I use the slide toggle function to animate the second underscore p paragraph element.